Good morning and welcome to The Distance. My name is Natalie Cabanas. I am a CrossFit Level 1 trainer and this is Strength Training, where we work on fine-tuning major muscle groups in our body to develop strength to help us while we're walking and we're running. Thank you for joining me this morning for all my fellow consistent viewers. I just want to say thank you. It's been a great journey on these live classes. Thank you for joining me every week. I admire your commitment, your discipline, um, and your consistency. If you're joining us for the first time today, I just want to give you a warm welcome and say thank you. Um, quick announcement. This is our last live class that we'll be doing. All of my classes will stay archived on YouTube and you can check them out on any time but um, we are gonna discontinue our live classes, so this is the last one. It's a little nostalgic, um, but yeah, I'm glad that you guys have joined me today. So, what will you need? If you have it, you will need a dumbbell or two dumbbells, and if you have a step stool or a chair, you'll also need that for today. That's the equipment that we'll be working with. Quick rundown of today's class. I'll be doing a warm up, about five minutes, a five minute demonstration of each of the movements that we'll be doing. We'll do a 10 minute workout. I've got a quick little finisher of three exercises today. We'll cool down with one or two stretches. I'll do some announcements and then I'll send you guys about your way on this Monday. So if you're new, this is the first time you're joining us, I want you to put it in the chat. Hey, good morning. What's up? I'm new. We wanna give you a warm welcome. And um, if you know anybody that would benefit from this workout, take the time to just take the link, the URL, and send it to them. Um, anybody in this time during um, our social distancing, I think, can always use a workout. We want to keep everybody active and healthy. All right, so clear some space. We're about to kick off into our warm-up. We've got a one-minute run, um, just running in place. And let me turn my music up, and then we'll get started. I'm going to adjust this angle for us. Okay. All right, guys, we're starting off with a run. Just run in place. Here we go. One minute. Man, I can't get this camera angle right this morning. I'm sorry, guys. Keep running in place. All right, kick things off. 45 more seconds. Get that heart rate up. The point of a good warm up is just to warm up your muscles, get your heart rate going. 30 more seconds, keep it up. Pump those arms. 15 more seconds. We're going into inchworms, one minute. Ten seconds, maybe speed it up a little bit. Pump those arms, get those legs moving. Three seconds. All right, remember our inchworms. Stand in place, hands on the ground. Walk them all the way out. If you want to, you can add a push up. And then walk back in. Stand up, squeeze those glutes at the top. Do your best to Walk your hands as close as your feet as you can. We get a good hamstring stretch. We got about 20 more seconds. Ease into this movement. No need to rush. This is your warm up. Treat it as such. Try to give me one more. Good job guys. Now we're going into plank to pike. So stay down in that plank position. I'll demonstrate. From here, we're going into a pike. Push those head through your shoulders. Come back to your plank. Push your head through your shoulders again. Hold for two seconds. Back to your plank. We've got this for 30 more seconds. My hands keep slipping on my carpet. <laughs> you got it, guys. Plank position. Into pipe. Plank. 
Again, holding that pike for about two seconds. Give me one more. Three, two, one. Back on your feet. Now we've got squats for one minute. Feet should be shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly out. Send those hips straight back. Remember to keep your chest up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Your knees should be tracking in line with your toes. Try to prevent them from not going in. You also want to be putting your weight in your heels. As runners, the tendency is usually to have our weight in our toes when we're squatting. You guys would be surprised. I'll have runners, or I'll have people come to my class and they'll start to squat. And I see that they go straight to their toes. And I always ask them, like, are you a runner? And they're like, yeah, how'd you know? And just because the tendency is just to always put your weight there. Keep it up. Five more seconds. And then we've got a minute of up downs or step backs. Okay, remember that an up down or step back is kind of like just a part of a burpee. So an up down would be hands on the ground and back in, or if that's not there, you can step back, step back in, and come up. One minute. Squeeze those glutes at the top. And time. Good job, guys. Let me turn the music down. All right, get a deep breath. So now we're going to remove, remove. We're gonna review. <laughs> Sorry, it's Monday. Gotta wake up. Um, review the movements for today. So we're gonna do another hero workout. So if you are with me last week, we talked about what a hero workout is. Um, basically, they, are, they were made in order to um, respect or pay homage to uh, fallen soldiers. So last week we did a, a, a hero workout or a version of it. And the idea is that usually these workouts are long and hard and grueling. And that um, the idea is that to really keep in mind why you're doing them and it's really to honor the life of that person that had fallen. So we're also doing another hero wad this week, kind of following that same format. And remembering that when times get tough that we're not just working out for us, but really, again, it's a sign of respect and honor for that person that served for our freedom. So um, the movements that we're gonna review today are the deadlift, a burpee over an object, and also box jumps or step ups. So by now you guys should be familiar with the deadlift. It's one of the nine fundamental movements of CrossFit. If you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that's what we're gonna use today. So remember when we set up for our deadlift, our feet are shoulder width apart, toes pointed out at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna set up with a dead bell, the dead bell. Man guys, I'm really struggling to talk this morning. I'm so sorry. The dumbbell, which is actually, I'm looking at a kettlebell. <laughs> it's right in my mid foot. From here, I'm gonna set up with my shoulders slightly over it, and my weight is in my heels. From here, my hips and shoulders are gonna rise at the same time until I get to about my knees, and from that point, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and stand straight up. On the way back down, first thing that happens is I shoot my hips straight back until I get to about my knees, and then my hips and my shoulders descend at the same time. So here's this, that normal speed. Biggest thing to watch out for today guys is keeping your back tight. There's at any point if you feel your back start to cave you want to make sure that you straighten that back back out. If you have a dumbbell you can set it up with um, 
it standing long ways and then you can hold at the head. If you have two dumbbells or two kettlebells, you can even just hold them at your sides. But remember when you do that, make sure that you keep your knees pointed out. If you have any inanimate object, the same thing, you can hold it just like I was holding my kettlebell. So make sure you give me five right now so you're good and ready for when the workout starts. All right, next up is the burpee over an object. So our object today is gonna be our kettlebell. So for me, I'm gonna do the version of the burpee where I bring my body all the way down to the ground, I come up and then I jump over the object. But remember a great scaling option for burpees would be either step backs or you could do up downs. So up downs are a burpee without the push up, step backs, um, Basically what it sounds like is a step back. The biggest thing with the burpee that you wanna watch out for is that common fault is just dropping your hips. So I'll demonstrate and then review what not to do. So for me today, this is what it's gonna look like all the way down to the ground, back up, and then I'm gonna do a, a hop over my object and get to the other side. But remember, um, scaling options is your up down, just like we did in our warm up. So back and forward or your step back, literally come down, step your feet back, step back up. You could always step over your object instead of jump over it. But remember, the most important thing to do is watch out for those saggy hips. So from here, you never wanna go back here and then sag down like so. You wanna to get to a good plank position and then lower your body. If at any point we sag our hips, then the tendency is that we're gonna have some lower back pain and we don't want that. So go ahead and give me five or maybe just three, three of whatever you're gonna do in the workout so you're ready to go. All right, last movement for today is going to be 15 box jumps or step ups. So let me grab my chair. So if you have a chair or a step stool, you guys also should probably be familiar with this movement by now. But remember the most important thing is that when we are putting pressure on our leg, that we are driving through our heel and that we're not letting our knee come over our toe. We wanna make sure everything is in nice straight position. And then one other thing is you wanna make sure that your chest doesn't come down, but instead your chest stays up. So two things to watch out for. Make sure that when you're stepping that this knee doesn't come too far over your toe. You wanna to create that nice 90 degree angle. And again, your chest doesn't come forward, but instead stays straight up. So I'm just gonna do step ups because uh, box jumps on that chair probably would not be that safe. Um, <laughs> a different scaling option um, would be to do it without weight. If you wanna make it harder, you can add weight. Um, I didn't even think about that. I guess I could go grab some weights and make it more difficult. Um, but yeah, totally up to you. We've got 15 reps. So go ahead and give me five and then we're about to start in just a minute. I'm gonna go grab my other weights to make my step ups a little bit more difficult. Give me 30 seconds. Okay, so again, if you wanna make your step ups more difficult, you can hold two weights in the front rack position as you step up or you can hold it in the farmer's carry, which remember is just down by your sides. So up to you on how difficult you wanna make this workout today. Good morning, Ronnell. It is great to have you. Thanks for joining us. All right, guys, so now that we've gone over all of our movements, let's review the workout and then we'll kick things off. So if you're wondering what the name of this hero workout today, it is Gary. So Gary is gonna be a 10 minute AMRAP. So as many rounds and reps as possible for 10 minutes of five deadlifts, 10 burpees over the object or step overs, and then 15 box jumps or 15 step ups. Um, the actual prescribed workout deadlift weight is like in the 200s or something along those lines. So that's like when we talked about a hero workout is usually long and grueling. That's what usually makes this workout super grueling is because the weight is so heavy. But we're doing a different version today and that's okay. So remember if time gets, if you know, you're struggling during the workout, remember that a hero workout is to honor the life of that fallen soldier. So remember that you're doing this in honor of Gary. So that should help you get this through this workout. Just 10 minutes. 
give me your best try to work the entire time i'd suggest trying to rest after <sighs> awesome right now um i appreciate that <laughs> um Yes, when you're looking for rest, I would try to rest at the end of a round. So say you went 5, 10, 15, take a deep breath, one, two, three, in through your nose, out through your mouth, deep breath, and then go back into your next set. All right, sound good? Okay, let me get set up, give me 30 seconds, and then we'll kick things off. All right, so I'm gonna do my deadlifts here, my step ups back here. I want to make sure you guys got a good view. <laughs> All right, I think we're good to go. Let me get my clock. You got your watch ready? Because remember, if you don't set your watch, it's like you didn't even work out, right? All right, I'll count us down in five seconds. Here we go, guys. Last live workout. Let's give it our best. All right. In three, two, one. Start with five deadlifts. Here we go. Remember to keep that back nice and tight. That's five for me. Now 10 burpees. Try to set the pace right here. Nice and steady. Remember we got 10 minutes of work here. Five more burpees for me. Make sure you clear that object. <laughs> Don't want to trip. Two more burpees. On to step ups. All right, remember 15 step ups. Here we go. Remember to even out these reps. Do maybe seven on one leg, eight on the other. And then the next round, make sure you rotate. Wanna make sure we get an even amount of work with each one of our legs. Remember to drive through that heel, keep your balance. As I felt myself, <laughs> Lean to one side. Stay strong, guys. Two more step ups for me. All right. Round number one down. Took me about two minutes. Hopefully, I can get five rounds in this workout. All right. Back to our deadlifts. Back is nice and tight. Squeeze those glutes at the top. All right, on to these burpees. Over the object, remember? Nice little hop. Nice little jump. That jump can really keep your heart rate up, which is what we want. That's six for me. Three more. Stay strong, guys. You're stronger than you think. Good. On to these step ups. Try to get your entire foot on your platform. You don't want to have your heel off of it. You want to firmly plant and stand up. Drop through that heel. Keep your chest up. Whether you have weights or no weights. Remember seven or eight on one leg and then switch or you can alternate. Up to you what works best. Just make sure you evenly split up the work on your legs. I got four more. I 
I gotta keep my chest up, drive through my heel. Really feeling it. And these glutes, <laughs> which is what we all want. All right, four minutes in, keeping that pace. Whew, I wanna know how many rounds you got when we're done. All right, put it in the chat. I wanna know. All right, on to my burpees. Steady pace, guys. The name of the game is pacing. If you gotta take a break, make it short. I try to take calculated breaks and count to myself so that way <laughs> I don't end up contemplating my existence during a workout <laughs> and taking way too long <laughs> of a break. <laughs> so think one, two, three, maybe you need five seconds. Either way, try to make it calculated. I think I've got one more rep. Yes. All right, on to my step ups. I'm gonna try alternating this time. Remember, keep that chest up. Nice and steady pace. In through your nose, out through your mouth, for your breathing. By doing that, you get more air to your bloodstream, actually. I read a study about that the other day, and it helps with your mental focus during a workout. Instead of breathing in through your mouth, out through your mouth. So, who doesn't like an extra set of focus during a workout. I know I do. So you better breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, we are six minutes, 15 seconds in. I fell behind that round. It's okay, we can pick it up. See, here's my break. In through my nose, out through my mouth. Three, two, one, go. You got it, guys. This is a special day. Our last live workout together. Make it your best one. All right, I gotta make up for lost time. If I wanna hit five rounds. So, pedal to the metal here. <laughs> but at any time, remember it's important not to sacrifice form for speed. So, if you're speeding up, make sure your form it's so good. Two, three, four, six, seven. I lost count. <laughs> but remember my rule, if I lose count, I add three. Call it a day. And keep going. I think that's fair enough, right? All right. On the step ups. Whew. Remember, keep that back nice and tight. That entire foot steps onto your stool or your chair. Your abs should be nice and tight. What does that mean? If I came up to you, <laughs> which I wouldn't do this, but punch you in the stomach, that's what it means to have your abs nice and tight because you would brace right before I did that. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Remember, this is for Gary. This is for you, but it's also for Gary. All right. We've got a minute, 45 seconds left. Can we get this last round in? What do you think? I'm behind, but again, let's go. 90 seconds. I want everybody moving during these last 90 seconds. Try not to stop. Remember, this is just 90 seconds of your day. You can rest when you're done. You got it, guys. Stay strong. The end is where you push 
because the end is where you get stronger. When it starts to hurt, that's how you know it's working. <laughs> but remember, soreness and pain, two different things. We work through soreness, but at any time, you're starting to feel a pain in any part of your body. We want you to stop. All right, 30 seconds. Finish this out. You're at the finish line. Here we go. All the way, guys, all the way. You can do it. 15 seconds. Let me see if I can hit 10. Three more. Keep going. We're gonna break here in a second. Three. Good job, good job. All right, I have a confession. I only have five step ups left. I'm gonna finish it. If you are at the end of your round, let's finish it together. All right, we are almost there. I know I said 10 minutes, but so close to the end. Might as well feel good about it. Finish the end real quick, perfect. See, now I feel better. It took me an extra 30 seconds, but that's okay. All right, remember to stop your watch. Remember I told you guys one time, I left my watch on for hours, so it looked like I worked out that whole time and burned no calories. All right, let me turn the music down. Whoops, that's up. All right, great job today, guys. Remember, if you need some air, in through your nose, out through your mouth is best. We have a quick little finisher planned for you today. Let me switch my uh, camera angle. So right now, we're going straight into it. We've got 20 crossbody mountain climbers. So one of those is gonna be to your right, right knee to your left elbow, and then left knee to your right elbow. So that's gonna be considered one. Then we've got 15 glute bridges. Glute bridges on our back, flat on the ground. Bring these feet up so that your knees are bent. The glute bridge is when you raise your hips so that your knee, your hip, and your shoulder are in a straight line and go back down. So 15 of those. And then we've got 10 scissor kicks. So you'll stay flat on your back. I like to put my hands under my head, but then you're gonna raise your feet about six inches, and then switch both feet. So both feet equals one. So one, two, three. Perfect. All right, you guys ready for this finisher? This is on your own time, um, but we're gonna start here all together. All right, so just one time through, again, 20 crossbody mountain climbers, 15 glute bridges, and 10 scissor kicks. Y'all ready? Let's do it. I'll count us down in five. Get in that good plank position. And three, two, one, go. You can do these strict, or if you want to do these faster, pick up that cardio. You can do it like so. I'm gonna do mine strict. I already lost count, but I'm gonna go 10 more. Remember, one rep equals to your right and to your left. Nice, 20 of those. Flip over on your back, give me 15 glute bridges. Man, I'm sweating, woo! Raise those glutes up for one. In between each one of these, do not put your hips all the way on the ground. We wanna keep them contracted. So just bring them about an inch or two inches above the ground. I think that's five for me, so 10 more. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Remember, there's no need to overextend. We just want our knee, hip, and shoulder to be aligned at the top of each rep. I think I've got three more. Two, 
one, stay on your back. Remember, you can put your hands by your side. I like them up by my head. We've got 10 scissor kicks. Don't rush through these, come on. This is for quality, make them good. So one is both feet up and down. Two, three, you can do it. Four, five, yes, six. We can do it, seven, eight, nine. One more, 10, yes! What a finisher. I'm sweating, I don't know if y'all are sweating, but I'm sweating for sure. All right, let's be mindful of your time. It is 8.31 if you gotta go, but we'll finish up here with one or two stretches, announcements, and I'll let you go. All right, let's just go into a deep squat. So let's go feet, hip width apart or a little bit wider. And we're just gonna shoot those hips straight back and use your elbows to push into your knees, sit deep and down in there, and just Swivel from side to side. You can bring your heels up off the ground, that's okay. Just kinda wanna get your glutes, your hips a little loose after using them for the step ups and the deadlifts. Good job, guys. All right, one last one. Let's take our hands, bring them behind our back. Hold on, lock out those elbows, and let's just bend forward, bring our arms over our head, you can slightly bend your knees if you need to. Let gravity pull your arms down, come out of that, and then switch your hands. If you're holding them one way, switch them to the other. As you're down there, just take a big deep breath. Remember, in through our nose, out through our mouth, is always what we want. All right, so. Just want to say thank you again um, for joining me for these, I think it's been six or 17 weeks, which is crazy. Um, if you ever want to look back at any of my videos, remember that they're on our Atlanta Track Club YouTube channel, so you can always go back and do them at any time. Um, Justin Gaiman, our staffer, he's going to be doing his plyometrics class on Wednesday, the same time. It is going to be his last one again. Um, we always welcome feedback. So moving forward, we're going to try to continue to produce different content, but if you guys are looking for something in particular, we'd love to hear it. Um, so you could send an email to the distance at atlantatrackclub.org. Um, if you think somebody would benefit from this workout that we just did, remember you can always just take the link and send it to them in a text message. We always wanna keep everyone active and healthy during this time of social distancing and I'm sure that they would appreciate a little push from you to get motivated for today. Um, and last but not least, guys, you can stay up to date on all things the distance by following Atlanta Track Club on social media. Don't first don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get access to and notifications of all the content that we'll be continuing to be producing. So thank you again to all you guys for joining me for all these weeks. I hope that you cherished it as much as I did. I look forward to seeing you at an Atlanta Track Club event soon. Thanks guys. Enjoy your day. Be productive. Thanks Elizabeth.